other speakers? Okay. Hearing none, uh, we have a motion. Is there a motion on the floor? Not yet. I, I can okay. make a motion. Okay. Should it be adopted resolution? Uh, that's put before us. Okay. I'll second. Okay. We have a motion. A second. In play. Has a question or something? Council member. In play. I just I just want to address for a, a second this whole idea about uh, weaponization of space and there seems to be this assumption that just because um, Ronald Reagan supported Star Wars it's automatically become some unmitigated evil. Uh, I mean I, I just think I, I just, this is a wrong understanding of the system mm -hmm. and and I just want to uh, mention that okay I have council member McLaughlin next so I I just the reason I was interrupting because I don't think we should get into a, this that's kind of way off base I was just giving the history yeah. of this um, but in general uh, I will say that there were some of us in the 80s who were talking about um, a nuclear freeze like to stop the um, the arms war rather than uh, weapons in space. And, um, you know, I think space should be for exploration and, you know, good things to learn scientifically, not for a weapons we race. Call for the question, Mr. Wait, no, we're not having anything from the audience. Uh, Councilmember Martinez. Uh, yes. Um, uh, just. Just last week on 60 Minutes, there was there was a uh, special on uh, a reintroduction of the arms war with uh, uh, people trying to uh, develop missiles to take out communication satellites. Um, but uh, any kind of war effort is wrong, and we need to do whatever we can to stop all war efforts. Now, um, when I was in university in uh, in, in the 1980s uh, for for a humanities class, I I, I did a uh, uh, a paper on a science fiction novel, and what I actually did was was I took all of the predictions in this science fiction novel, and then I went to magazines and newspapers, and I was surprised to find that every single prediction in this science fiction novel that was written uh, 20 years earlier had already come true, and they were happening there then in uh, 19, uh, 1980. So, so it's easy for me to see that things which are wrong can happen because uh, we have the wrong mindset. We are we have the mindset which is a war mindset, and this uh, a proposition that was put forth by Kucinich was to change our attitudes towards one of seeking peace, and that's why I'm endorsing it. Okay, uh, Vice Mayor. Well, I, I want to say that I do think this debate is um, it is on topic because you know this, the I, I, the debate over Star Wars is, is sort of a, a part of what 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 initiated this, and and I think um, uh, uh, what I would say, and, and it's, it's been said, is that any sort of, in, in my view. Um, the idea that we don't have enough tools to kill each other here on Earth and so that we need to start doing it in space, that just is simply immoral. And, you know, it may be that some wars are unavoidable. That may be true. Um, but uh, whatever we can do to get our, our country to, to move away from that mindset um, and move away from um, utilizing new methods of war, um, we should support. So that's why I support this. Resolution. Okay, if there's nobody else, let's vote. Wait, do we, do we council member can play? Uh, so, uh, the motion before us, does that include these things like chemtrails and stuff? Because, for now. Well, let me, I, I think he's bringing up a good point because I'm really confused. I think that, that the uh, resolution itself is very simple. It simply says 
The city of Richmond hereby supports the Space Preservation Act and Companion Space Preservation Treaty to ensure that individuals will not be targets of space-based weapons. Um, so I see that. All the testimony I've heard tonight are about targeted individuals. And uh, so, I mean, I'm confused. Is this about space-based weapons or is it about targeted individuals, and if individuals are targeted, who is targeting them and why? Uh, so, I just don't understand it. And it, it. It's simple enough. It's saying that, I mean, and, and on the near, therefore, as you read, we are supporting the, the Space Preservation Act and Companion Space Preservation Treaty. Then the reason we're doing this is to ensure that individuals will not be targets of space-based weapons, which is what they're saying. Like, all this stuff is... Is high technology. It's you know, and so that's what we're adopting here. And and you know, I think you know whether you believe it or not. Um, one thing that was very clear, and I've met with folks uh, a lot around this issue. And so, and some of them I'm just hearing tonight. But even the ones that I heard tonight, like just out of compassion, when folks are saying, "Help us," and you're su us supporting um, this. By, by adopting this resolution, um, you know, I think it, it sends out a message that, you know, we, we, we sympathize with you, we support you, and the very least we can do is just pass this resolution to make sure that, you know, you feel the support and love and, and, and sympathy that, that you Well, look, I, I it's, sympathize. It's simple. It, re it reads okay. right there, Mayor. That's all we're trying to pass. Okay. What you see well, before you is what we're trying to pass. Don't, don't I, complicate it. It's simple. So vote it yes or no. I sympathize with everyone who is suffering some kind of affliction, right. and um, but on the other hand, uh, you know, in 1967, the U.S. adopted or the the uh, president signed the Treaty on Principles Governing the Activities of States in the Exploration and Use of Outer Space. Uh, including the moon and other celestial bodies. So the U.S. government has acted on this, and they have. And within that particular treaty uh, is a ban on on using outer space for uh, military purposes. So I'm kind of I'm I just don't know quite I I, don't, I just don't understand what we're talking about. Are we talking about the weaponization of space? Are we talking about chemtrails? Are we talking about individuals who are being targeted? If so, by whom and why? Mayor, uh, that, please. I mean, this is, you know, I'm just a dumb city council person. And this is just way, way over my head. Uh, and and I, I frankly think that it's sort of way out of the purview of what this city council could be taking up, taking up. We've got real problems here. We've got pothole roads, we've got a budget that's out of balance, we've got crime, we've got greenhouse gases, we've got all these things to worry about, and here I'm being asked to support a resolution that deals with, uh, deals with things like chemtrails and particle beams and plasmas and mind control technologies. I just don't know enough about it. If I were an expert, I'd probably take a side, but I'm not. And so for that reason, I'm just not going to support it. Maybe sometime I'll learn more and be more, uh, more oriented towards I'd like support. to call the question. I'd like to speak to uh, Councilmember Bates. Uh, well, it is confusing. Uh, I'm going to support the uh, resolution for the simple reason that we have voted on a lot of dumb ideas and uh, what uh, this resolution represent and again we know that we don't control the universe we don't control Congress so uh, this is the least of uh, my worries so I'm going to support now call for the question does anybody else want to talk about it okay let's just vote Councilmember Pimplay? No. No? No. The motion passes.
Would council member Finn play voting no and Mayor Butt voting no? Thank you, God. At some point, you'll catch up with space. One, one reason I voted for it, that was one speaker in opposition to it. So. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the next item. I think we have one more left. <laughs> item J1 <clears throat> is to direct the city manager to work with the city clerk to develop a schedule to make the agenda packet available to the public seven days prior to the city council meeting. Yeah, let them go. They spent here they spent the time. I still don't understand. I don't understand how a person is affected. What they're saying is that, um, you know, like there's electrical currents happening all the time. And I know what I like.